We good? Okay. Um, I wanted to give you another example of Hamilton's method with apportionment. So let's look at this problem. A large company has four divisions with 250, 320, 380, and 400 employees respectively. A total of 35 computer technicians must be allocated to the four divisions according to their size. For this one, we want to use Hamilton's method to apportion the computer technicians. So the first thing I've done is just list the different companies and labeled them A, B, C, and D. And the first thing you'll want to do is to calculate the total. So the total number of employees should be 1350. So that's our total. And that information is needed before we can go to the next step. So we know there are a total of 1,350 employees. We know we're trying to apportion 35 technicians. So the first thing we're going to do here is find what's called the standard divisor. And to do that, you take the total number of employees, which is 1,350, and you divide by the um, number of things to be apportioned, and again, in this case, it's 35 computer technicians. So that's not going to give you a whole number. It's going to give you a decimal um, answer here. So we'll take it to three decimal places. So it's approximately 38.571. So that number represents um, the number of people a company would have to have in order to receive one technician. Um, so if a company has 38 point or 39 employees, then they would receive one of the 35 technicians that we're trying to allocate in this particular problem. So once you have the standard divisor, you want to find what's called the standard quota. I'm just going to label it as SQ. And that's going to actually tell us how many um, of these computer technicians each of these companies would receive based on the fact that the standard divisor is 38.571. So for each of these we're going to go in and we're going to divide, take the um, number of employees for each company and divide by the standard divisor. So we're going to, for the first one, we're going to take 250 and divide it by 38.571. So that will give us, again, if we take it to um, three decimal places, that's going to give us approximately 6.482. So again, typically all, on these problems, we'll go take everything to three places. We're going to do the same thing for company B. We're going to take 320, which is the number of employees, and divide by the standard divisor, which is 38.571. And that will give us approximately 8.296. We'll do this again for um, company C. And that will give us approximately 9.852. And then finally company D. So that will give us approximately 10.370. So this number is telling us how many um, of the computer technicians each company would receive. So company A is going to receive approximately 6 point something. We know that they can't receive 6 point um, certain number of technicians. So we'll talk about how we're going to handle the rounding in just a minute. But the standard quota, again, is going to tell you approximately how many people or how many technicians each company is going to get. So with Hamilton's method, to figure out how to round, Hamilton decided to use what's called the lower quota, which means we're going to take everything and round down. So we're going back to the standard quota and rounding everything down. So 6.482 would round down to 6. So basically, you're just dropping the decimals, everything after the decimal place. Um, company B, lower quota would be 8. Company C would be 9. And company D would be 10. 
Um, so now we're talking about whole numbers, which makes more sense when we're talking about computer technicians. So if I total that, that would give me a total of 33 technicians. Now the problem said that we were looking for 35 technicians. So that means we're going to have to find two more um, from some location. So in Hamilton's method, what we are told to do is to look at the numbers after the decimal place. And the highest one is wh which company will get an extra technician. So the highest number after the decimal place would be the 0.852 for company C. So that means company C is going to get one more technician. So that would bring our total up to 34. And then we're looking for the next highest number after the decimal place, which would be company A. So that also means company A is going to get an extra technician. So the end result for Hamilton's method is going to say that company A is going to receive seven computer technicians, company B is going to receive eight, company C, ten, and company D is also going to receive ten. And if we add these up to double check ourselves, we do end up with the 35 technicians.